cool. There's a lot going on here in Boston. We are on fire right now. Yeah, but I, again, what I would argue is, I think there's a lot more exposure. Mm-hmm. When we were kids, the violence numbers were double, sometimes triple than what they are now. Uh-huh. But if you lived in Roxbury, oftentimes you didn't hear about what was happening in the Mattapan. Uh. You didn't know what was happening in other parts of the city because yeah. there wasn't social media. There wasn't Man, you weren't you weren't getting information before the news was getting information uh-huh. as you do now. Right. So we're exposed to all incidents. Mm-hmm. When we were kids, we would only know. You might, Some of them, you might yeah. hear a whisper or you might know what happened on you your street. You hear what happened right. with them, Yeah, but right. you, yeah. Wouldn't, you wouldn't hear it. But so I, 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 again, this is not to minimize what's happening, but it's just to say that I, I think there's a lot more exposure mm-hmm. to the incidents that are happening that makes it feel like it's constant and it's every day. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But you think about the 90, early 90s when we were hovering around 100 homicides yeah. a year yeah. um, for a city that had 530,000 people. Right. We were going to funerals every week. And the gang twice. activity so during that time was, was different was, as well. Right. Look, 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 what is, with, with, with more exposure, would you say that it's worse now or before? And I'll ask both of you guys. I would say worse is relative. Mm. If you're a teenager now, yeah. you have no sort of sense of context of what it was like to be a teenager in 95. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep, so it's, yep, yep, it, yep. it's bad for you now. Yeah. Um, but if we look at them, again, you can't drill life or death to numbers. But if you base it on numbers, mm-hmm. it's not the same. We've had more incidents. We were experiencing more incidents of violence Back then? Back then. Oh. See, because that's what, that I feel like we're always, like, going back with that conversation. Like, we know that social media has exposed so many more things. But then I'm like, maybe it's just because we weren't hearing about it. We didn't know. Like, we, if you live there, you'll see police and blah, blah, blah. But it's just like, oh, that's just what happens. Now, like, you're see, we're, we're reading every morning about so many incidents of yeah. foolishness, so many incidents of violence, and so many incidents of things like, did that really be happening for real? For yeah. real? It's crazy. So if you think about it, when we were kids, I think it was. Cra- it, f- it feels crazy to say, but we had an opportunity to really be kids. Yeah, I, I was. And yeah. That, it, it feels like yeah. we, we weren't. We weren't. We didn't have access to all of the news, all the constant yeah. bombardment of what's mm-hmm. happening and what's not happening in terms of yeah. like crazy incidents. Yep. Mm-hmm. And unless you were directly impacted. Very rarely you wouldn't even hear about it. And that's and that's exactly to follow up what you were saying earlier about like um, you know, like we would hear a whisper. So we weren't privy to like adult conversation yeah. and watching the news was an adult thing to do. Yeah. So we weren't paying attention to that. But if we would hear like a whisper from our parents, Oh, do you know did you hear what happened to somebody? Mm-hmm. But then we would go back out and ride our bicycle, you know what I mean? So it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't like that like it is now. These kids are being exposed to the violence through social media and whatever whatever it else. Um, is, is going on because at younger ages, so yeah. elementary school kids are talking about sex and da 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 and all that. Crazy. Stuff. That that wasn't a conversation for us. Yeah. When, growing Those up, are the conversations you had by yourself within your friends. Right. Group. And we didn't yeah. know what it was. You know what I mean? We thought, oh, some sex and, and, of... and you know that's email or something. You know, yeah. or whatever it was. <laughs> My little cousin said that. But you know, like things like that. So we didn't have that kind of exposure, and we were allowed to be kids. We yeah, we're, kids were kids. There's a lot of overexposure then. happening now. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But again, I what I would say is that it's. But if you're 15 in 2023, what what we experience doesn't matter. Right. Because right. you're going through what you're going through. Mm-hmm. You're being impacted by it. And I thank God that I didn't have social media like these kids had. Man, right. listen. Because I wouldn't yeah. be able, I wouldn't be sitting here right now no. with yeah. all the foolishness that it's allegedly that all my friends um, <laughs> <Allegedly>. <laughs> and myself grew up doing. Allegedly. 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 Um, 